Yes, we are. No, you're not. Are we live? Yes, we are. Hey, guys. This is Onisha Biggs of Pharmacy Tech Lessons. Let's talk about today memorizing drug names. Okay, so... Yesterday we got a question in from Sir Fancy Cat Dijou. I hope I'm saying that right. And they stated, I'm having a hard time memorizing the different drug names. How many at minimum do you think I should know to have a good chance of passing if I'm good in all other areas? Okay. So this is pretty much an easy one. Um, Sir Fancy Cat, for sure you want to memorize um, all the top 200 drugs. And the reason why is this. You don't know which ones they're going to throw at you on the actual exam. You don't even know if they're going to throw at you five or if they're going to throw 30 of the questions um, be pharmacology. So is really a, a chance there. So this is just my advice. I would learn all the top 200 drugs for sure. And um, we teach our students a special method on how to actually learn the top 200 drugs without literally learning each drug, okay? So uh, we actually did a webinar on that last year. We'll probably run that, that webinar again this year. So make sure you go to PharmacyTechLessons.com and get on the email list so that you get that information when we do run it in 2018. But basically, yes, you want to memorize all the top 200 drugs, all the pharmacology uh, information that you need to know. And that's going to put you in good standing on that topic. Let's see here. What other question we have? So. How do I apply to take the PTCB exam? Okay. So this is another easy one. To apply to take the PTCB exam, go to ptcb.org and apply there. Uh, the test is going to run you about 127 bucks. And, of course, we talked about how many questions are on the test. It's 90 questions, but that's basically how you apply. So how it's going to happen is you're going to make your profile, then you're going to get in there, and you're going to um, apply. And then from there, they're going to send you over to another website called Pearson. And at Pearson is where you're going to pick your location and make sure you have everything set up. And from there, you'll need to print out all your stuff. Make sure you have it for your test date. Make sure you know you, and you have directions to get into your location. And from there, you go and take the exam. Um, yeah, that pharmacology, I'm just thinking about it. You want to make sure you know all the pharmacology. I mean, God forbid you go in and you learn, I don't know. Okay, you need to learn 200 drugs, right? You go in there and learn 75, and then you get to the test, and it's they give you drug questions, but it's none of the first 1 through 75 that you studied, right? So it's just kind of like you really can't, well, you could, but you it really would be wise to chance what drug names they're going to give you. Just learn them all, okay? And as I stated again, if you get it in the program that we have at PharmacyTechLessons.com, we teach our students a specific method on how to memorize the top 200 drugs without actually memorizing literally the top 200 drugs, all 1 through 200, okay? So that's going to be a good little tidbit for you to learn. And again, if you're not in the program, head over to PharmacyTechLessons.com, click the training tab. Here, I'll get it for you. Click that training tab and get in the program. It's going to give you everything you need, guys, including support. Including support as far as over 500 technicians in the group that you can learn from, as well as all the lectures, 
all the math lectures from basic to advanced, word problems, how to go through it, and you get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me or one of our instructors. So it's awesome. Uh, let's see. Okay, Kia, good question. So EXCPT, yeah, you're talking about EXCPT or PTCB, what is the difference? Now we're going to talk about this more in depth in more videos, but I'll go ahead and just give you a review of them both, okay? So the PTCB is more nationally known, which means it's going to hold a lot more weight than the EXCPT. Okay, there's also an in-depth post on this on PharmacyTechLessons.com, but the EXCPT is a lot less known. I always recommend that students um, pass the PTCB first. If you want to pass the EXCPT, then you can. Some states actually don't even receive the EXCPT as a certification that they will uh, receive for you to get the job. So, um, but, but PTCB is known nationally. Um, so it, it's definitely an older test and there are just a lot of differences between the two, but we'll have another video and go more in depth to that. And again, Kia, send your question to hashtag AskPTL and we'll see it there. We'll create a whole video revolved around your question. Okay. And that's for anyone else that has questions here. Send all of your questions to AskPTL and make sure you put a little hashtag sign before it so that we can see it. Okay. And if we don't have anything else here today, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. Thank you guys so much for viewing. Um, this is always fun to get on here and talk with you all, see how you're doing. I hope that everyone thus far is having happy studies and you're on your way, if you haven't already, to passing the PTCB exam. So again, if you have any more questions, make sure you send them in or you can leave them in the comments below since you're already here. Just drop it in the comments below and uh, still use the hashtag AskPTL. And this has been Onisha Biggs of Pharmacy Take Lessons on the AskPTL show. And we're gone. <laughs>